Happy Halloween everyone, I'm Mine, and this is set number 71377, King Boo and the Haunted Yard expansion set from the LEGO Super Mario theme. This set contains 431 pieces, 7 buildable LEGO Super Mario characters, and retails for $49.99 in the US. This set was sent to me by the LEGO group through the LEGO Ambassador Network, but all opinions expressed in this video are my own. So King Boo and the Haunted Yard is one of the most unique looking LEGO Super Mario sets. It uses like this orange autumn color for like the ground, and I think that's super cool, and I don't believe there's any other LEGO Super Mario sets that use that much of this color. So with that alone, that makes this a very unique LEGO Super Mario set. But this set also has some kind of unique gameplay mechanics, so let's take a look at them. So you start at the front gate of the Haunted Yard right here. There's two Goombas on two little pillars. These can be removed. They're not connected to anything. But I think it looks really good just having them standing here and kind of like guarding the gate but these doors can swing open and the gates are big enough that lego mario or lego luigi can actually fit through once you get through there there's a small brown platform as well as a larger orange platform and this one has a spider web and a spider on it as well as a little technic build the mechanic here is if you have mario or luigi come over here and step on this technic piece it'll flip over the spider web and you can see there's a barcode on the back and then if he stands on it you'll get a couple coins that's a really fun part. I personally have not gotten this part in any other LEGO Super Mario sets, but I wouldn't be surprised if it comes in others. But it's just a barcode that gives coins, and you can put this here, or you can put this on any other build. There's nothing about this barcode that's like specifically like spiderweb themed. So if you want to make your own custom blocks or whatever that give coins, like this would be a perfect way to do that, and I think that's awesome. Moving to the right side, you have a few more platforms, both in orange and brown. And then there's this tower at the back with spider webs coming off of it. This one has a spider on it, and this one's just empty. But there's no actual gameplay mechanics here. This is entirely for aesthetics. But but it does look quite cool and fits the whole like spooky graveyard feel and you can see around the back there's nothing either so this is like a fine spot to expand your course if you want to transition from the haunted yard to a different set but just with this set on its own this entire area doesn't really have anything going on this side does come with these black dead bush pieces on the ground though which are really cool parts to get really happy to get those here i don't believe i've seen them in this color before so that's really cool to get then going over to the left side it's very similar just a tower in the middle with two spider webs coming off this time there's no spider on either of them but the tower builds exactly the same nothing around the back but this time instead of the dead bushes you have this tree without any leaves on it and this one is actually a play feature if you have mario or luigi knock the tree over you can see underneath there is another one of those coin barcodes in so if you step on it once again you get a few coins it has the same exact mechanic as the other one so as i said you could leave it right here or you can incorporate it into your own custom courses and i just think that's very versatile i really like that part but yeah the tree itself is just on a hinge and normally it's hidden beneath the tree and then finally we get to the main build of this set you have the shack right here with king boo coming out the top and these swoops on the side this door out the front does hinge open and when you see inside you can see there's a little gear mechanism this door however is way too small for mario or luigi to fit into you can also see into the set around the sides and back and it's not the prettiest in there it's mechanical and it works but nothing all too special you can also see this red technic pin sticking out the side and this is actually a difficulty switch which we'll go into more detail about in a moment first though let me show you how the gameplay mechanics of this set actually work so you have the swoops, these bat creatures around the sides, and they can spin. So what you're supposed to do is take Lego Mario or Lego Luigi and have them step on these swoops and you just do it over and over again. You keep spinning them as much as you can. And there you go, Boo will eventually fall out. Once Boo is knocked over, it exposes the superstar block around the back, which if you step on it, obviously gives you a superstar this if you've never seen it before makes mario or luigi invincible so they can't take damage from normal means and then king boo himself is also knocked down who also has a barcode on the bottom so if you step on that you actually hear boo scream and then you get a bunch of coins so the mechanic with the red technic pin is it actually sets how difficult it is to beat boo if you have it out to this side you can just spin these guys as much as you want and boo will actually be defeated pretty quickly There you go. But if you slide the technic pin to the other side, then suddenly these guys don't spin as easily and it takes more hits to actually get Boo out. There you go. The swoops themselves are pretty cute. They have these movable wings. You can see they have this big red nose and then they have a printed jumper piece behind it. I believe these are also in Character Pack Series 3, but other than that, I believe this is the only way to get them. And they're a really nice translation of a pretty iconic Mario villain into LEGO form. Each of them also has a barcode on the back, which if you step on it, gives you one coin. And then finally, let's look at King Boo himself. He's a fairly simple build. He's literally just a cube with a little tail out the back, but he's pretty much done as well as I could expect from LEGO. 
huge printed face tile piece and it looks excellent it captures Boo's personality perfectly he's got the little crown at the top with the red gem in it little hands out the side and as i mentioned he does have a tail out the back he's got those weird parts sticking out the bottom to actually do the mechanic but that's very easy to remove if you want to customize this guy to just be a boo figure and not actually be incorporated with the set but these ridges right here allow him to actually fall out when the bats are spun enough so i don't mind it because it is very easy to fix you just need a couple white bricks but yeah as a whole i really like this guy boo very very iconic mario character and he's captured pretty much perfectly here. I love the huge printed part, he's pretty great. And here's how you can load back into the set. So you can see there's one of these like coil pieces right here, and if you just put Boo in like that, he just slides right in. Oh, and I almost forgot, here are those two Goombas that we looked at earlier. Both of them have like the most generic Goomba face, which is fine, it's a pretty iconic look for Goombas, but it is the most common one. Barcode's at the top and just their classic shape. And of course, if you step on either of them, you get a single coin. And of course, just like pretty much every other LEGO Super Mario set, every part of the set does separate from each other so you can rearrange it if you want, or incorporate any or all of it with your other LEGO Super Mario sets to build full courses. So overall, what do I think of this set? I think it's pretty good. An overall just very solid all around LEGO Super Mario set. Nothing exceptional, but nothing bad either. I really love the overall set, it really gives off like a Halloween type feel. And that does really set it apart from other LEGO Super Mario sets, because a lot of them can be very samey. The set's unique in other ways too, obviously the Goombas are pretty common, but the Swoops and King Boo don't really come in any other sets. And I like the little barcodes that give you just a couple coins, those are really versatile and like really encourage creativity. This is also one of the better looking LEGO Super Mario sets, like this is one of the few that I feel works even if you don't have the character to play with. Like this, if you put this on the shelf, it would still just look like a haunted area. Would it be the best looking set? No, but it looks fine. So as a whole, I'd say, yeah, I would recommend it. You don't need it, but if this is something you're interested in, I do recommend you pick it up because it's probably retiring very soon. So if you don't get it now, I don't know if you're going to get the chance to. But those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think of this set in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please press like, subscribe if you're new. I do LEGO videos like this almost every day, so if you subscribe, I'll be the first to see them. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!